Okay, here's part three. Um, I'm in my car now, so I'll be paying attention to the road, but I am holding my phone in my hand because um, I just keep being led to speak and speak and speak. Um, this, I was just kind of talking with um, my friend at church, and it really brought up an old memory, and I didn't expect it to uh, when I was talking about actively seeking God. Don't wait until something bad has happened to you or anything. Um, because He is waiting to help us. But it's not just about that. He's waiting for us to see Him and see all of His blessings and goodness that you can have from being close with Him. And I know that now because I've, I've just, um, I've gotten closer with Him. But let me tell you though, here's the thing. Um, when you are a Christian who has <clears throat> been through something bad and become closer with him, you might look at it as, I kind of saw it as maybe, you know, that I know I knew God and I knew I loved him. I still went through something bad. Um, you're going to go through bad things. <clears throat> you may not see that, that it's, um him being there for you but here's here's something that I learned I learned that he was there through it with me he wasn't putting me through it he was there through it while I was going through that deep depression while I was homeless while I was you know not in a good place in my life he was there with me and he I read the Bible and uh, I, I just kept having faith that it wasn't going to last. I knew it wasn't going to last. I didn't understand why I was there. Now I understand why I was there. <clears throat> because I was able, I was around people that I feel like probably needed to hear a little more about the Bible or needed some more belief that, you know, a good things are there, that God is there, that He still loves us no matter how bad we are, no matter how much sin we've done. Um, he's there. And now that you are out of the dark places, again, you know, you're going to go through some bad times. The rain happens, but it waters the flowers. And it's like he's watering us. He's preparing us. He is strengthening us. He's tenderizing us. He's making us resilient um, for the great things that he has for us ahead. And we can't, we can't go to that really great place without actually experiencing some of the terrible things that we've had to experience. We don't understand death. We don't understand, you know, why, you know, children have to die, why people have to be hurt, why lives are taken. But you know what? He understands. And we have to have faith that he knows what he's doing. I mean, he's the creator. He's the creator of everything. And and his purpose is much greater than what we can actually comprehend. So just keep that in mind. And I, um, we talk a lot about, you know, having faith and, and when God's telling you to do something, to go ahead and do it. Don't ask. Don't wait for approval. Don't, um, don't seek out the perfect word is the perfect time. Um, I hate to inconvenience people, you know, with my talking and stuff, but he's telling me to do it, so it might be an inconvenience, but I hope you're listening to what I have to say. I hope that something is, is, um, is resonating in you. I hope that you're going to think about seeking him and reading the Bible and stuff. You may not understand it, but there's other versions out there I had to find something simpler because the word um i couldn't understand you know the, the old testament the way that they spoke and stuff and wrote but it's the same meanings and um and the bible has stuff for people has solutions to every single problem um if you've ever been to counseling the bible says the same things just in different words so uh, if you don't think that you know you need to believe in god but You've been to a counselor or a doctor or even a seminar that tells you about being a better person, um, growth and stuff. You need to read the Bible, okay? And um, it's going to help you to get through all of those things, all those bad times, whatever it is that you need. 
it's in there um, and again I was placed in these bad situations but I feel like um, I feel like it was for a reason and uh, you know I hope that anybody has ever met me I hope that you've gotten something out of me that that has changed how you look at people how you think about things that has I hope you, I just made you smile okay I love to smile and I love to laugh and um, we all have our purpose and I, I think that that's probably one of my purposes I hope so because you know I'm a goober but um, again it's about him and his word so go ahead and seek it seek out his word and seek out all of his blessings that he can that he can do for you give you and you're gonna be just so happy all right thank you for your time and um, have a wonderful day